I don't think I'm something wrong with me. I'm just a different guy who sings differently. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most shocking Met Gala moments. It's just everybody. It's everybody. If you had a million arms, then all the people you would punch in the whole world, they're all there. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most insane moments from the most popular night in fashion. Which Met Gala moment do you think is the most shocking? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Jared Leto using his head as an accessory. The 2019 Met Gala camp theme threw many of the attendees for a loop. A few of the guests had no idea how to properly execute it, but Jared Leto wasn't one of them. I think camp is, is celebrating things that maybe uh, are discarded. It's not taking uh, life or fashion too serious. He arrived at the prestigious event wearing a gorgeous Gucci-made gown, embellished with a bejeweled chain, and an exact replica of his own head, also created by Gucci. The unique accessory immediately drew the attention of the cameras and the fans watching at home. Please, describe to me your look and your look tonight. They're both looking at me. Many were impressed, yet slightly creeped out by how eerily similar the head looked to his own. Considering how many celebrities played it safe with the theme, he stood out due to his sheer commitment to it. If there's one thing that Leto isn't, it's predictable. It's head by Gucci. Uh, yeah, it's a little bizarre. Number 9. Kim Kardashian destroying Marilyn Monroe's dress. Kim Kardashian is no stranger to controversy, even at the Met Gala. After all, who could forget her infamous head-to-toe 2021 look? For the 2022 gala, she wanted to pay tribute to Marilyn Monroe by wearing one of her actual dresses. It's 60 years old, and um, she wore this when she sang happy birthday to President John F. Kennedy in 1962. Historians warned that it would be too fragile to wear. While it looked fine at the gala, pictures from social media reportedly revealed the truth. The garment had been torn, stretched, and some of the jewels decorating it were missing. All the way up the zipper, the fabric is completely frayed and torn and ruined. When you talk about damage, is it irreparable? They don't make this fabric anymore. Spectators were furious, claiming that Kim had disrespected the late actress. She later admitted that she had taken on an unhealthy lifestyle just to fit into the gown. I, I had to lose 16 pounds down today to, to be able to fit this, but I it was That's such amazing. a challenge. It was like a roll. Right. I was You're determined. Yeah, yeah, I was exactly. determined to but fit it. The homage would have worked just as well if the dress replica she changed into after the red carpet was worn beforehand, too. Number 8. Sarah Jessica Parker's Cultural Appropriation 2015's Met Gala was China through the looking glass, which meant that the attendees would be wearing garments inspired by China. There'd be no point in going to the Met, frankly, honestly, like I probably would have not gone. While most of the looks were celebratory, a few bordered on appropriation. One that fell into the unfortunate latter category was Sarah Jessica Parker's, specifically a Philip Tracy headdress that had little to do with Chinese culture took a bunch of stuff from inspiration and research, etc., etc., etc. It started conversations about what was okay to portray with this concept and if the theme was offensive. To top it off, Twitter did what it does best and compared her to various characters, such as Rita Repulsa from Power Rangers. At a night where celebrities want to look as chic as possible, being compared to a villain from a kid's show has got to sting. If it's not soup to nuts, if it's not stem to stern, then it's like you're like off balance. You can't come that far and then remove a piece. Number seven, attendees smoking in the bathroom. In 2017, some of the attendees were a little less focused on fashion and a little too focused on smoking. Throughout the normally prestigious event, several photos were posted exposing various celebrities lighting up in the bathroom of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It reminded me of a scene out of a high school movie where the bathroom was really where all the cool kids were hanging out. From models like Bella Hadid to actors like Dakota Johnson and Rami Malek, it seemed like everyone was leaving to smoke. However, the celebs involved immediately saw backlash for their actions. That's a big no-no at the Metropolitan Museum of Art or any other public building in New York City where smoking is strictly prohibited. Doctors and city staff came forward to express their concern about secondhand smoke and the law breaking, while some donors were furious that they were putting the art at risk. Some even called for the stars in question to be fined. It was a good reminder that being famous shouldn't make people exempt from rules or consequences. Last year, we actually almost got in a lot of trouble because, like, 
people were coming in and out, and like guys were coming in, and people were like smoking, and they were like not having it. Number six, celebs slamming the Met Gala. Considering how many stars look forward to and revere this night, it's surprising to know that some have strong feelings against it. Some celebrities in particular have been very candid about how much they dislike it. Do you want me to be honest? Yeah. It sucks. Admittedly a bit tipsy, the blonde bombshell didn't hold back. Gwyneth Paltrow, for instance, was allegedly disappointed as her high expectations for the glamorous night fell flat though that didn't stop her from attending again. Others, like Tina Fey and Zayn Malik, imply that the attendees aren't always the nicest and that the event itself is excessive. I have gone to it once and it is such a jerk parade. Like you cannot even. We don't blame them. There must be so much pressure around looking and sounding perfect. Hearing notable people be so honest about their experiences surrounding the fame night is refreshing, and also helps lessen the FOMO that some regular people experience when viewing the event. Kanye West was playing and he was furious and he threw his microphone down. It was all drama. <laughs> Number 5. Tom Ford Criticizing Katy Perry Celebrities aren't the only ones with negative feelings towards the Met Gala. Some designers have issues with it as well. After the 2019 gala, iconic designer Tom Ford had some feelings about how some of the celebrities presented the theme. The only thing about the Met that I wish hadn't happened is that it's turned into a costume party. Ooh. He came for Katy Perry in particular, pointing out that her chandelier and cheeseburger outfits were more costume than couture. He also lamented the days when the event was chic and guests didn't feel the need to wear over-the-top ensembles to stand out. Imagine if they just wore like basic sort of prom gowns. It would just feel like any other event. This is a celebration of fashion as art and art as fashion. His opinion started larger discussions about both the theme and the Met Gala itself. Some agreed with Ford that celebrities had changed what the function was originally about, while others felt that he was just out of touch. He's actually acting like a character from the TV show The Gilded Age or The Age itself, <laughs> sort of like. Yeah, like the idea between old money versus new money. Yes. He's a gatekeeper. Number four, Nicki Minaj giving major side eye to Demi Lovato. Besides the fashion, the most exciting aspect of the Met Gala is the celebrity drama. When you aren't mentioned in a post but didn't do to that other person. In 2016, photos captured what looked like Nicki Minaj shading Demi Lovato by side-eyeing her on the red carpet. At first, fans of both stars assumed it was a misunderstanding. However, Instagram posts and comments seemingly revealed that things weren't going well between the two musicians. Pretty much summed up my first and probably last Met. She included the caption, so awkward. Nikki hadn't tagged Demi in her post with designer Jeremy Scott, and whether that was intentional or not is still debated. Demi initially laughed it off, but in 2018, she revealed her true feelings about a debacle that happened at the same ceremony. Apparently, there was a moment in 2016 that had been so stressful that it nearly caused her to relapse. Luckily, she didn't, and we're so glad the drama, whether or not it was Nikki related didn't push her to that point. Give me the truth, me We'll make it through. Number 3. The Red Carpet Streaker In 2014, one man decided to take a different approach to the Met Gala. Controversial, extraordinary, it's hard to explain, but, well, I'm normal, at least I believe so. While guests would normally come in expensive, high-class garments, he decided to dress down in a pink mankini and attempt to streak on the red carpet. It's unclear what inspired him to attempt this, but most assume it was just to draw attention from the night. And who has this, you know, entertainment spirit that probably people in, never, uh, in Hollywood never experienced before. However, we'll never know what the star's reaction to him were, since he was quickly apprehended by nearby officers before making it inside the event. While he may not have been successful, the streaker still went viral on Twitter, where users praised him for taking such a risk. We can't help but wonder, where is he now? And what exactly happened after his infamous attempt? I asked them, just don't be mad. I apologize uh, for uh, inconveniences. Number two, Rita Ora proving she isn't Becky with the good hair. In early 2016, one question had the whole internet in a tizzy. 
who was Becky? The question arose after Beyonce released her acclaimed album Lemonade, wherein she accused her husband, Jay-Z, of cheating on her with Becky with the good hair. This lyric sparked endless controversy and memes as people tried to decipher who the lyric was about. I pray the Lord you reveal what his truth is. Many accused Rita Ora of being the culprit, and she was questioned endlessly. She ended up putting the rumors to bed when she took a selfie with Beyonce captioned hashtag family, and then later arrived at a Met Gala after party wearing a name tag that simply said, not Becky. This was a bold yet smart way to clap back at the never-ending speculation. continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Solange Knowles and Jay-Z fighting in an elevator Last week, we was all at the Met Ball having a great time. We've been drinking. Have you ever heard about something so shocking you almost couldn't believe it was true? That was how the internet felt after a 2014 video of Solange Knowles and Jay-Z fighting went viral. Up to that point, the Carter Knowles family had been known for their drama-free image, and this video showed that things weren't exactly as they seemed. The fact that no one knows exactly what happened that night only adds to the intrigue. Well, if you think I condone this invasion of privacy, then you must not know about me. You must not know about me. Luckily, there are no hard feelings. Both parties have made it clear that everything is okay between them, and Jay even admitted fault on his 2017 record 444. You excellent, uh, knowing all along all you had to say you was wrong. Despite this incident occurring after a Met Gala that took place nearly a decade ago, it is still one of the most talked about moments in the event's history. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.